So this is a good little one still, but bear with me because as per usual, the comments in my face, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to read it. The best way to start to have discipline is to give yourself a reward after completing it. I quit vaping completely because of this strategy as I reward myself with Enandos or some clothes and then obviously it goes on to say other stuff. Um, that's all well and good, rewarding yourself when you carry out and execute and complete something using discipline. So you stop doing something due to discipline. That's all well and good because I think they call that like positive reinforcement. You do X so you get rewarded or tell a dog to sit down on the floor and when the dog does it, you get a treat or tell your child to do this and when they do whatever. So that's called cool, like positive reinforcement. But what about when there's no reward? What about when you carry out discipline, when you're a disciplined individual and there's no reward? What about when the reward is two, three years down the line? What if you don't get the reward straight away? What about when you have to be disciplined for two and a half to three years so that you can buy a property? There's no short term reward. So it's a good mentality. Yeah, it's, good, it's a good thing to get into. Oh, reward yourself, you know, with a Nando's or whatever and that. Uh, when you quit vaping or smoking cigarettes and that. But sometimes, and you know what, forget about sometimes, you, you know, you got to train yourself to not even have a reward for being disciplined. Because there is going to come a time where, at the end of the day, if you are disciplined, there's always going to be a reward at the end, but it might be for five, it, you might have to wait five years, you might have to wait three years. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen. You ain't going to get that reward in a month's time, certain times. Certain times, you're going to have to wait two, three years. It's, it's, it's almost like starting businesses and that. You ain't really going to see no proper and real money for about two, three, four years. It depends. Look at me. I, I am what you call a relentless person. I've been on YouTube for five years. It took me five years to get to a thousand subscribers. I never gave up. Certain people... I've seen YouTubers, content creators say, listen, if you haven't reached 10,000 subscribers by the six month mark, give up. I'm not giving up. Why the fuck would I give up? Certain people, they would have gave up on TikTok a very long time ago. If, cause like on TikTok, you could easily reach 10,000 followers and that within the first two to six months, that's possible. I've almost been on TikTok for a year and I ain't got 10,000 followers, but I ain't giving up. Why am I going to give up? I'm not like that. Nah, man. And I'm showing you lot, like, yeah, man's winning in the property world and in the financial world. Man's over good. Yeah, man's set. But I'm showing you that even me, I struggle certain times, but I'm not giving up. So certainly you lot might think, and I heard my girl say, oh, everything you touch turns to gold and that. Not everything. Man's still wearing silver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man's still wearing bronze and that. No, I'm not a winner every single time. I'm not going to be successful every fucking thing straight away. But you know what? I hang in there. Yeah, I don't give up easily. So many people right now, yeah, they're going to start a YouTube channel. And I know people started a YouTube channel, didn't get the views they wanted, gave up. You go to their channel, their channel's in a fucking graveyard. Five videos. The last video was posted up two years ago. I've got over like 1,400, 1,500 videos, something like that. Still going, still going. I, I, I don't know if I have 1,600 and 1,600. And you know what? I probably have about that much, but some of them might be scheduled videos. And that. what I'm saying, man, got bare videos. So, yeah, it's all well and good, you know, implementing positive reinforcement and that. But what about sometimes when, you know, the reward ain't going to be for a very long time? Then what? It's like, imagine, and I mentioned something about children. Um, Imagine you have to use positive reinforcement with your child. Behave. If you don't, then you don't get a treat. If you behave, I'll take you to Disneyland. No, fuck that. You're going to behave and there's no fucking reward. Reward is food. Yeah, about behave and I'll take you to Disneyland. And please believe there's parents out here who say to their children, if, if you don't behave, then I ain't going to take you to... Well, obviously, yeah, but what, there's certain parents that in order to bribe their children to get them to behave, they say, if you behave, then I will buy you a PlayStation or I will buy you this new game. No, you're going to behave anyway. <laughs> there's no... 
There's no, I'm not negotiating with a fucking child, like, so it's a good mentality to have, like, oh, yeah, you know, um, positive reinforcement and that, but at certain times, you got to just understand that sometimes the reward ain't going to take a, it's going to take a very long time. Like, even in shops and that, you clocked, when you go in, like, an off-license, they got the shutters for the cigarettes and that. It's not because they're trying to not promote cigarette smoking it's because certain people when they're trying to give up smoking and that they can't don't you dare let them see a packet of cigarettes or a packet of tobacco and that at least their fucking mind and start smoking so they have no discipline they cannot see something and say no craziness man like all these people that have these bad spending habits and that so you know yeah apparently um some mad number like obviously so the gender uh, population is like 50-50. Allegedly, there's more men on earth than there are women. Apparently, there's 51% men on earth and 49% women on earth. But let's just assume it's 50-50. And let's say in America, it's like 50-50, obviously. Yeah. Apparently, 80% of the debt is accumulated by women. You know why? Because women have these bad, mad, crazy spending habits and that. Like, this is the difference between a man and a woman. Yeah. And if this is you, you need to make some fucking changes, rude boy. A woman will be in a shopping mall, have hardly any money, just about enough money, see something she likes and thinks, I can't afford that at this moment in time, but I'm still going to go and buy it. If you're a man, you'll be in the same scenario, same situation, you'll be in the mall, you'll see something that you really like and you know, a voice in your head will say, I can't afford that at this moment in time. And that's it. You will turn around and walk out the fucking shop or whatever. No bite. So this is the reason. This is the difference between men and women. Yeah. You see something you like, your emotion don't take over. You gotta make rational decisions. Yeah, that's that's like the key to being disciplined.